You remember how a couple of days ago we caught Bill O'Reilly uh, lying about how to, no one on Fox has ever said that you'd get jail time if you didn't pay uh, the fine uh, for because of health insurance mandates. And then we played about what well, we played four clips, but there's many more where there's news, Fox news anchors, hosts, everybody saying, "Oh my God, they're gonna arrest you! You're going to prison!" Now he knows he's been caught, and that's spread everywhere. So O'Reilly has to try to cover his tracks. So this is great Orwellian talk. Uh, I'm going to give you the actual facts, of course, after you listen to this uh, wonderful piece of propaganda by Bill O'Reilly. Again, NBC News has highlighted dishonest propaganda from the far left media matters outfit. Sadly, <laughs> Time Magazine also participated in the sham. Controversy yeah. about Senator Tom Coburn's assertion that Fox News scared some Americans by saying they could go to prison if they don't buy health insurance under Obamacare. On Tuesday, here's what I said to the senator. We researched to find out if anybody on Fox News had ever said you're going to jail if you don't buy health insurance. Nobody's ever said it. So it seems to me that what you did was you used Fox News as a whipping boy when we didn't qualify there. Now, Senator Coburn admitted he may have made a mistake, but to be fair, the mistake is understandable because last fall, when jail time was on the table, Fox News reported it, as we should have. Listen to these sound bites. Do you think it's appropriate to have a threat of jail time for those who refuse to buy insurance? You know, what I think is appropriate is that in the same way that everybody has to get auto insurance, and if you don't, you're subject to some penalty. I'm just trying to understand. Um, if you don't buy health insurance, you go to jail? Well, the point, my there, there is, uh, there is uh, uh, I think the legislation is very fair in this respect. All right. Now, as we all know, the prison option was taken awesome. off the table when the final Obamacare bill was being debated. And that's what we were talking to Senator Coburn about, the final bill debate, not all that stuff. So what I said is absolutely true. Nobody at Fox News reported inaccurately about the Obamacare prison situation. Nobody. The importance of this is that you, the everyday American, are now being lied to on a regular basis by people working for huge corporations. <laughs> and nothing's being done about it. A voter-driven republic, a voter-driven republic cannot survive if lies supersede the truth. Uh, you know, that's awesome. I love that. Because he's so brazen and he takes it over the top and he blames the other guys for lying. lying. So we looked. Was there an earlier version of the bill that had jail time for if you, you know, didn't pay the fine? You want to guess? Of course there wasn't. There is no such thing. There is no like, hey, you know what, it was jail time was in there, but then Fox came talking about it, so they took it out. Did you see how they took those clips from Pelosi and Obama out of context? They asked them the question about jail time, and they're like, before they can finish their sentence, that there isn't any jail time, they're like, cut, that's it. See? See? You know, they answered a question about it, and they didn't say anything in the first couple of words. So I, I think that the legislation is fair in these ways. One, it was kind of... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry. And besides, O'Reilly said, no one ever said that on air on Fox. Now he's changed it to, no one ever said it inaccurately because we made up a thing about how it was in the bill in the first place when it wasn't. Hey, Bill, why don't you produce a version of the bill that has jail time in it? Like say, okay, oh, no, we got the earlier version of the bill. Here it is. And put it online. Let us see it. If, it, if you have that... I will come on here and I will apologize. So, um, you know what? I got it wrong. O'Reilly got it right. Come on. Come on. Easy. Super easy, right? Go ahead. There is no such version. And then the final irony is, this big corporate media, they're lying to you. News Corp, which owns Fox News, is a giant corporate media enterprise. I'm not sure there's a larger media enterprise in the world, okay? And he turns around like he's the little guy. Oh, poor little me, Bill O'Reilly. I'm trying to correct all these mistakes on, you know, in this program, in this little program that I'm doing here. Oh, please, Bill. God, they, what's amazing about them, why they're part of why they're successful is how brazen they are. And he said in the beginning, you know, Coburn admitted his mistake. I watched that interview. Coburn didn't admit any mistake. He said the guys who come to my uh, rally are Fox News guys, and they were the ones that were misinformed. And Coburn wasn't wrong. <laughs> O'Reilly was wrong.
They're masters of turning the truth on its head.